this one is another poem dedicated. This is the, the beautiful book that Bill Roberts did. Charlie, Richard, and made one poem each. This is dedicated to a poet, a lovely poet I knew in Berkeley, uh, Donald Schenker, 1930, 1993. Don says, there's poems all over the place. It's practically embarrassing. <coughs> and I nod without enthusiasm, driving into downtown Oakland, thinking, yeah, those two pigeons on the blue-gray sign, Hotel Moro, how the part of it that's a poem could fall out between the word and the bird, or the word Moro all the way back to the reconquest of Spain and all the bloody hemisphere ending up all the history of the bloody hemisphere ending up on this block, I don't care if I see again. And Don says he could just stop anyone and look at them. They're all so deep and beautiful. And I say what's interesting is the stories they carry around, stranger than fiction, stronger than truth. All these gente waiting to cross the street, each one forgetting their great-grandparents, each one forgetting to tell their children. And I'm no novelist. I can't move a character across the room, much less two guys to lunch at a Vietnamese place on Webster. Over bowls of translucent noodles and odd meat, Don says he always felt like the other poets were the big boys. And I see how the grand, famous names of his peers, now pushing 60, then pushing 60, have turned into the padding padded artifacts of their own careers, while Don's obscurity has kept him fresh and sweet. And Don says he loves his tumors, the big one that hurts in his left hip, the one that's hammering out among sparse hairs inside his baseball cap. And though it's his own death that gives him truth, I'm stuck in my heart without any words, while poems in Vietnamese are fluttering up from all the empty tables around us and escaping into so much empty light.